<clears throat> hey y'all, welcome in, welcome back, welcome back, welcome in to this session. Uh, feeling guided to do a collective reading, so we are just going to jump on into that. You know, um, upon jumping into this energy uh, for the greater YouTube collective here, it immediately took me down to like some more sinister feeling situations. Now, I did do a reading for Patreon today. You can check that out. Um, if you'd like to partake in energetic exchange and get extra content for, with me throughout the month, check out Patreon. Check out Patreon. Uh, but um, the Patreon reading already, that's three, was about kind of like waking up. And I feel like we're getting deeper into that now here in the YouTube Collective. This is four. And this is five. So what's going on? What's going on with the kids, with the greater collective here? It feels like a, it just feels like a really dark energy. It feels like a dark energy has come over you recently. Um, there is a, it feels like there is a dark wave just washing over. It's a wave of darkness, but um, it's not to overshadow anything. It's to uncover. It's a wave of darkness because it's a wave of darkness that is being perceived of. Whereas maybe in the past, it feels like we may have had this wave of darkness, but it went unnoticed. You know, we just kind of like accepted it. Now it feels like this wave is washing over, and, but you're seeing it this time. You're understanding the complexities of it. You are becoming aware of, in tune with, refined towards the understanding of the complexities of the darkness that is wave that is washing over us at this moment. It's a continuous wave you know it's a continuous cycle that we're becoming more and more aware of what's going on for the collective please what messages do we have for the collective please spirit what's going on here six of swords is the first card out yeah that's great it's great because awareness is the first step towards moving away from something yes what's going on with the collective at this time to to the tower yep This could mean a few things. What's going on for the collective? Okay, and we have this Page of Cups energy here again. Um, I do feel like this Page of Cups energy is connected to, is similar to the Page of Cups that came out in the last reading, in the most previous reading towards this to this one. The Hanged Man and then the Sun. The Hanged Man is at the bottom of the deck officially. The Sun is on the split, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. I just heard the question remains the same. Why are we still doing this to ourselves? And what I'm getting with this tower, I'm sorry, the six of swords to the tower. Normally you would think the tower energy would strike and then you would move forward in a six of swords type of manner, but it's actually the six of swords type of manner. That is uh, the six of swords movement that is creating the tower moment. That is creating a tower moment. This I'm hearing for powers that be, whatever that may mean in your life, whatever that may mean to your situation, there could be some really powerful sources of power that start to lose everything because individuals start walking away from it because they dream of something new. They have a new dream, they have a new vision, the Page of Cups. And interestingly enough, this energy with this Page of Cups here, the Page of Cups is facing the tower. So it's as if there is a desire for some sort of destruction of something. Uh, of course, we would always recommend nonviolent destruction, but the, 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 the tearing down, the reconstructing of things in order to have a new and or brighter future, that's what I'm hearing at the bottom of the deck. Your overall energy is the hanged man with the sun on the split. The hanged man to the sun. You've been this you've been in this position for long enough. You understand what is going on here, or you are coming to the awareness that you need to understand what's going on here. Okay. I want to continue using this deck. Show me the six of swords, please. The knight of wands. New inspiration, 
reignited inspiration, matured inspiration, Sagittarius energy, expanded outlook, expanded mind. This feels like going on a quest. You could be going on a quest for greater enlightenment with this Knight of Wands energy that is clarifying that's on top of the Six of Swords so far. I feel like this is you going on a purposeful quest of needing to understand something, wanting to be enlightened in terms of something. This is a very ninth house energy. Uh, this is the Knight of Wands represents Sagittarian energy. Sagittarius is the ruler of the ninth house. These are all energies of expansion, higher awareness, higher learning, higher thinking, travel, and not just travel between the next state or the next town. I mean, the travel to another country, to foreign lands even, expanding your mind, expanding your spirit, going towards moving towards, working towards spiritual awareness. It does feel like you are going on a quest. This Knight of Wands is facing opposite to the Six of Swords, but the energies are connected to each other. You're going in this new direction as a way of moving forward from pain, from strife, from struggle. Show me the Six of Swords, please. The Three of Swords is next. Uh, this is part of the understanding that you've come to with this hanged man energy that was the first overall energy. Uh, this is an energy of awareness, the hanged man to the sun. But you have this heartbreak here that you've been in for some time that you are starting to understand or you are needing to understand. You are going on a quest to understand why these things keep happening. This could be you instinctually, instinctively going after breaking certain cycles, certain tough cycles in your life. In order to move forward, Six of Swords, dang, okay, to the Empress. You are supported in this. Uh, you are connected to the Divine Mother. This is the Divine Mother. This is the Earth. Oof. And then the overall energy here is the Devil. Um, being in, being entrap in, in, entrapment. I mean, really, it would be the Eight of Swords that could represent entrapment, but from the from the um, Major Arcana point of view, yeah, the devil absolutely rep would represent entrapment, ensnarement. This could be going on a quest to take your power back because the devil only has power when you give him that power. You willfully, okay? You willfully give them that power because even if it doesn't look like it, even if you're doing it kicking and screaming, you're still allowing it to happen. Now, I don't mean that to sound like I'm trivializing anything. Please take it as it resonates. I, I don't mean to trivialize at all. But this is, a le this is an energy of taking your power back. Absolutely, because with the devil here, you can't... This is, I'm not going to show it because it, it's nudity. But um, the chains around... Th this man and woman are chained to the devil's podium at which he stands upon. But the chain, and the chains are around their necks, right? But the chains are loose enough for them to literally take the, their hands and their feet are not chained, okay? It's just this one chain, this loose chain around their neck, loose enough for them to literally lift them off themselves and walk away. So in this case, this, it, for some of us here, this is an energy of you founding a new, you finding a newfound love for yourself. You are lo loving on yourself unconditionally at this point with the Empress enough to go seek healing in order to move forward. Okay, I want to say you are this energy, this energy, this, you are this empress energy, this empress em, is, em, is, an embodied, is embodied within you. This is your right to natural abundance. Your God-given right, your natural right to abundance. Okay, so all of this is leading to a tower moment. And I'm hearing it's for the establishment energies, whatever that means in your life, okay? Show me the tower for the collective. It's in the established energies. It's, yes, it's in the established energies. Show me the tower. The Three of Cups, an alliance of sorts. Could be. This could be a hive mind mentality with the Three of Cups. I'm getting um, drinking the Kool-Aid <laughs> with the Three of Cups, that type of energy of taking, the or taking some sort of substance, okay? I don't really feel like it's an actual 
something you're actually physically ingesting in terms of like food or drink, but it's a type of energy. It's like you're taking, you're taking the medit, you're taking the medication. You're drinking the Kool Aid. You're in some way you're giving of your belief to something that is some sort of like collective intoxication. I'm also hearing indoctrination. That's what this Three of Cups is representing here. It's giving me drinking the Kool Aid energy. Give me the Tower. Six of Wands. Show me the tower. And the Queen of Wands. Yep, and we're back to the Hanged Man. Okay, so this is confirming what I was picking up before. To, to finish out clarifying the tower, you have the Six of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Okay, but these two fell out on the pile of the Six of Swords. Whereas the Three of Cups remains on the tower. So your action here, your desire, your magnetic field, what it is you are drawing into yourself, you using properly using the law of attraction, not only to benefit yourself, but to benefit others, even though this is creating a tower moment for a good deal of people, I guess we should say, or is what I'm hearing. It is still bringing you victory. It is, and it is, this is still the reason why this tower moment is happening for certain individuals still in this indoctrination. Overall energy, we're back to the hanged man. This is very similar to the reading that I did on pa for Patreon today. So by the time the collective is watching this on YouTube, that is, has already been released. So if you're interested in it, check out the link in the description box below. Let's talk about this new vision, this new dream, Page of Cups. Tell me, show me the Page of Cups, please. Show me the Page of Cups. Back still, okay, the energy is still coming out on this Six of Swords. It is the Seven of Wands to start. Show me the Page of Cups, please. Oh my goodness, oh my, all of this, all of this. Oh, you guys were back to the devil at the bottom of the deck. Ah! Holy shit, the devil to the Page of Swords. Yeah, I peeped your ass is what this says. I peeped you, I see you, I see what you're doing here, even though the even though the Page of Swords is not looking at the devil, the Page of Swords is actually looking towards the energy that's underneath it, the Ten of Cups, and then the Ten of Swords in reverse. Look at that. And I don't let these cards live in reverse. Oh, wait, look, 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 there it is. I see what you're doing. Mm. Um, clarifying the Page of Cups here. We did get four cards. Uh, we got the Seven of Wands to then the Five of Pentacles, which has fallen out in reverse, no longer allowing yourself to feel impoverished. This is absolutely connected to this Empress energy that is still on this same pile, which is all, uh, the, which, uh, which the root of is the Six of Swords, okay? But this pile also has the Empress in it. This is you connecting to your universal God-given, however you wanna say it, universal given right towards abundance which this devil energy has been working to usurp from you and take for it as his own or her own, however you want to say it, but that's not happening anymore. What you dream of, this new vision is saying absolutely not, no more to this. Seven of Wands to the Five of Pentacles reverse. We also have that with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This has both feelings of in specific individual Ten of Pentacles energy and also societal greater purpose, greater humanity sense of prosperity and Ten of Pentacles and the future. At the very least, at the very core, this message is Seven of Wands to the Five of Pentacles reverse. We are not giving into, we are not playing in the field and the realm of the Five of Pentacles any longer. We are no longer keeping ourselves out in the cold by not directly connecting with and honoring our sense, our God-given right to abundance. And we're not going to desecrate that blessing by handing it over to those who usurp it. We're no longer playing in that arena because we understand now at this point, Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, that's not getting us to where it is we ultimately need to want to be. Not even just as an individual, but as a society as well. This is what, this is the dream. Whether this, is you, whether this is resonating for you on that interpersonal individual level or it's something greater or both, okay? This seems to be the message for the day. Uh, 
Okay. Let's go with the, I'm being called to the black tarot. And I want to ask, what's next for the collective in terms of this? We do have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck already. 1515 on the counter. Great change. You have this three shuffles. next for the collective in terms of this situation please Ooh. the emperor having taken your power back is what i heard to the ace of wands the knight of swords and the queen of pentacles The sun. Yes, this is um, knowing your worth, queen of spheres, queen of pentacles, knowing your worth, actively taking your power back. The emperor, the ace of wands, the knight of swords, the queen of pentacles, the sun. And then finally, overall energy is the eight of swords. The Eight of Swords here is representing the mental entrapment, the mental, there, there it is, because I did mention, I did say entrapment. The devil here, well, earlier, was representing that energy of entrapment, and I said the only other card in this deck that I would think would be, would represent entrapment would be the Eight of Swords. Here it is right here, Eight of Swords, underneath this devil as the overall energy. What's next for the collective? the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. This is all fighting back. Peaceful protest is always what we would recommend here or uh, peaceful resolution. Peaceful resolution is what we're looking for. Peaceful revolution, This is even if this is in your personal life. This could be radical, I'm hearing, for some. But this is working, fighting to gain your power back or fighting on behalf of it now that you have give, gotten it back, the sun. The sun, yes, the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, but I want you to look at it this way, or at least the sun wants you to look at it this way in this moment. The reason why the sun being here is so powerful and the reason why the message here behind the sun being here is that you are in direct alignment Everything is going to work out in everyone's favor, in your favor. Everything is working out in the, the highest good of all. Everything is working out in your favor. You are supposed to be here. This is right on time. This is right divine action. That's why the sun is saying this right now, because the sun is the logos of our universe. The sun contains all of the programming for all of the planets in our solar system. I'm sorry, not the universe, our solar system. Meaning that the sun being here shining on you fighting working to take your power back is right on time is right on schedule is absolutely what's supposed to be happening so don't worry about it just follow through with it that's why the sun is the most optimistic card in this deck right here right now especially in this reading that is that is literally the universal green light to follow your path and break free from this ensnarement, entrapment, entanglement. It's your divine right to thrive and prosper. But it seems we've been giving it away to others who are careless with it and only use it for their own personal gain and profit. This is the message for today, kids. This is the message right now from the universe. So, um, I'm gonna close this out. With some oracle guidance. Closing message please, spirits. Oh, this is a short one.
last shuffle. Rebuilding, yeah, that makes sense. Reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in a new in new circ in your to thrive in your new circumstances. Focus on what you can control. Okay, that is definitely an overall energy for the collective right now. Overall energy now is independent. It's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know. Um, I do want to say good gossip came out and it fell out right on top of the devil. Your reputation is very good at this time or you're being talked about in a positive way. I find it funny that that came out and fell out on the top of the devil. Meaning that the gossip that is happening in terms of this devil, demonic, devilish energy is good in nature. And I get this feeling that those who are speaking properly, speaking the truth about these toxic circumstances, those are the individuals who are gaining a good, either have and or are improving their reputation because of the way they are speaking of this devilish energy this demonic energy this is shining a positive a good light on you but it's more like the universe is <clears throat> um the universe your light is being shown in a more positive way is shining in a more positive way in terms of the universe when you look at it from just the, when you look at it at it from the non-physical the light that you shine is improving is fortifying is strengthening is brightening you have alchemy the path you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation and then you have walking unscathed, but this time it's reversed. Uh, you, this card normally says you were fortunate, a trap was laid out for you, but you were too smart to fall for it, but this came out in reverse. And that is speaking directly to how the entrapment, the ensnarement, we could say of humanity by these greater forces, by these higher forces, whether physical or whether we're speaking physical or non-physical because there are non-physical components to this. Walking unscathed in reverse is speaking to the how, you, how humanity has gotten trapped, so to speak, and snared, so to speak, in this timeline. But then you have conquering. Victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you with finally good gossip, which was the last card that came out. So, hold on a moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Independent. It's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know. Conquering. Victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. So, there is a level of awareness going on for the collective um, in terms of understanding how things have been turning out for you and what it is you want to see changed by it or changed because of it. And that's the alchemy that you're undergoing. That is how your path is about to go through this very powerful transformation. Good gossip is happening. Especially against or in terms of this toxic devilish energy that however that is in your life. Okay, your reputation is way better than theirs. So stand firm, stand your ground. All will be well. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Cool. Mm -hmm.